Do you see how shiny this mat is? That's because every single day of the week that we have classes, someone vacuums it and sanitizes the entire thing and wipes it down just so that all of our athletes are gonna have the safest classes possible. Now, even though we spend all this time cleaning the mat, by the end of the night tonight, we're gonna have about 200 athletes on this floor. That's about 100 kids and about 100 hero coaches. So you have to guess that by the end of the day, the floor is gonna get a little dusty. So when you're done taking class at Super Dojo, the bottoms of your child's feet might be a little dusty or dirty. That's why we always keep these wet ones, um, antibacterial hand wipes on deck in a beautiful tropical splash flavor. Don't eat them, but wipe the bottoms of their feet and just make sure that you leave here in a safe way. In addition, we always keep ham sanitizer on this side of the wall so that you can get a little squirt before you leave too. If kids are not able to actually take class, they're not going to learn these important strategies, okay? We're going to practice the physical self-defense moves, but being in class and doing it with kids that are changing intensities, that they have to constantly, you know, that kid goofs off now. They have to tell that kid, I want to keep on practicing. Or maybe that kid goes a little too hard and they have to say, chill out a little bit. My neck is starting to, to turn red. You know, that right there is the most important type of self-defense strategies. We learn self-defense while we practice self-defense, not when we already know the moves. And that's why coming to Super Dojo class is way more valuable than just learning from my videos on YouTube.